Yeah, or if there is judgment, to just recognize that there's judgment. Yeah, so just listen to that mental chatter and notice that it's there. And it's, it's natural. I mean, this is just, we're all wired to do that type of thing. There's nothing wrong with it. And, and the more you can have that attitude of just like, hey, this is, this is how human bodies and minds are wired to react to things, then you can kind of see it with kindness and with, uh, with non-judgment. So you're not judging yourself for judging, right? You can kind of stop at the first judgment. <laughs> yeah. Stop all that. Well, well, I wouldn't say stop it. Just recognize that it's okay. there. It'll go away on its own. Okay. Just be kind. Yeah, just notice that it's there. As soon as you notice, there is, there is judging again. Okay. There is in, there's an inner dialogue that's judging experience. Right there, you'll notice. It's, you haven't added anything to it, and that initial judging dialogue will either kind of calm down or just go away. I mean, it's really like, you know, if you, if you listen, if you, anytime you can just listen to your inner voice, you'll notice that it doesn't persist long. Especially if, if you're not trying to get rid of it, you're just really curious about it, and you just, it's almost as though you're just saying, you know, hello, inner voice. Like, here you are again. I'm, I'm just going to, what do you have to say? You could even try that right now. Just, you could say, you know, is there any thinking right now in the mind? And just listen for it. Is your inner voice saying anything? Just listen. Probably just experienced three to five seconds of total silence in your mind, didn't you? And if you didn't, that's okay. You're just listening to the dialogue, right? If maybe the dialogue was like, is something special supposed to happen? Or what are these kids saying? Or whatever. But would, has, did anyone notice that if you, when you just listen, all of a sudden, you're like, Where'd the voice go? Right, and this, again, this is not the goal. I'm just pointing out that this can happen. That you, you, either you're hearing the voice with a little bit more ob objectivity, you're just noticing, oh, there's this voice here and it's fine. And what people often notice is that the more that you can just listen with that kindness, you might notice that there, it seems a little bit more, there's a little bit more space around it or it just goes away. Now, if you're really practicing intensively, what you'll notice is that then there's like, little voices that you didn't even know were talking kind of really quietly in the background, like all these little self-judgments and criticisms and other neurotic things or memories of something. I, mean, I notice that sometimes where I'll be sitting and there'll be no thought for a minute or two and then all of a sudden there's just this visual image or voice about something that happened like weeks ago and I'm just thinking, where on earth did that come from, you know? And you, it just kind of... So if you can kind of look at it as like, almost like you're watching a movie, you know, you just kind of, in fact, that's one of the most skillful ways, I think, to approach trying to be mindful of the mind itself, is you might not want to lose awareness of the body. It's always good to kind of have that foundation of being aware of the body. Uh, but when you're noticing the mind is to just be, just almost be like, okay, I'm going to sit and wait here until the next thought comes up. Let's see when it comes. Be that curious about it. You know, like, so the, this is the, quite ant antithetical to how a lot of people think about, especially when they're reading books of, and, and you hear someone talk about having a mind that's clear of thought or whatever. Then we're setting up this false hope that really doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter whether the mind is clear or not. What matters is do you know if there's thinking or if there's not thinking? If you know, you're free. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter whether there's thinking there or not. If you know that there's thinking there or that there's not, you can see it all and there's no preference between the two, you are a free person. So you'll, you hear people talk about, oh, having a clear mind or, you know, it doesn't matter. But if you, if you can just be curious about it, then you don't set up this war about, I thought the practice was supposed to, you know, I just keep, I can't stop thinking and all these thoughts keep coming up and we create like this battle in ourselves you might leave a practice, a sitting practice period more stressed out than when you started if you're trying to get rid of thinking because it's like mission impossible, you know? But if you can just be really curious about, hey, is there thinking or is there not? I'm just going to sit here and see what happens. It's a cool show. It's better than TV. You never know what this crazy thing is going to spin up. I, guarantee, I mean, you have some amazing shows to watch in there. 
Hello, my friend, and thank you for taking a minute to check out this video here at the Mindfulness Edge. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please feel free to leave any questions that you have about the practice down in the comment section below uh, if you think I could be of help. I, I do my best to answer as many of those questions as I can, and I enjoy helping wherever I can. If you found the video helpful, um, please feel free to subscribe to this channel to make sure that you never miss any of the videos that we post. And you could also feel free to go ahead and hit that little like button. That will help other people to see this video and hopefully it will be of help to them as well. And if you like, I have a little gift for you. If you head on over to the mindfulnessedge.com, I'd be happy to give you free sample chapters of my book called The Mindfulness Edge. So until next time, I hope you are well.